let's talk about the value of emotional literacy for a minute. Emotional literacy, what the hell is that? It just means that you are emotionally aware of what's going on in here and you're able to articulate it to someone else. And I, as you know, maybe I used to be emotionally jammed up and a very emotionally illiterate. When my first therapist asked me how I felt, I said, I don't know, I have no idea. I don't know what you're talking about. Or pretty soon it was numb, I feel numb, uh, I feel blank. And if some of us have been trained out of our emotions because of our culture, our family, whatever uh, bad experiences we had, we will learn to suppress and hide and repress our emotions. Totally understandable, right? Pretty normal. Yet, if you stay stuck there, it's going to deeply compromise the level of intimacy you can have with other people. If, on the other hand, you start to learn about your inner life and what you're actually feeling on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, it's extremely helpful to the other person and it becomes lubrication for connection. I often say that emotions are lubrication for connection. If I hear you're feeling sad, I can begin to empathize with what you're going through, and now we feel even de a deeper connection. Versus if you say you're feeling sad, and I'm like kind of stoic and deadpan, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe you should try not feeling sad. Here, let me fix it. All of a sudden, now we have a compromised connection. So, uh, particularly the men uh, who've deeply been conditioned out of their emotions. Guys, we got to work a little harder here. I think women are a little better at feeling uh, in general. And so it's, it's you know, you got to be a student of your emotions and like, you yeah, know, what am I feeling? And begin to dig into that and unthaw that iceberg of, you know, of crap, of blockage, <laughs> so that you can start to feel and express. And, and again, the why is because you're going to have better, deeper, more connected relationships, which are more fulfilling. Because if you don't deal with your inner life and your emotions, if you're uncomfortable with people that are emotional, you will push them away and you'll cut the legs out from under you and greatly inhibit your ability to do intimacy between you and another person. You know? Okay, so feel. Let's feel right now. Breathe into those emotions. Breathe into that heart, that body of yours. Ride those sensations. Feel the feelings. Feel the feels, all of them, right? Yeah, cool. Leave a comment if you know what I'm talking about here.